Hey there, Nick Jantakis here. In this video, we're gonna go over a couple of different TMUX config options to make it a lot easier to jump between different windows and panes using hotkeys. For example, I just opened up a couple of TMUX windows down below, and we can see that it starts with window one, window two, and window three. Now I can just hit my prefix key, which is uh, the back tick there to go back tick two, back tick three, back tick one, and it's very easy to switch between these, but this doesn't happen by default, at least not with the version of TMUX that I'm using. It's actually going to start with a zero as the index instead of one, unless you set the setting. Now, if you look down at your keyboard, right, trying to do back tick zero, it's like you need to use two hands. It's like the zero sort of kind of floating in the middle of the keyboard, a little bit to the right, depending on a type of keyboard that you have. But yeah, having a one is a lot easier because it's like, you know, back tick one, two, three, I can just use one here and there, tapping on the left, and it's really easy to do that. Now, uh, another thing too here, if you have a couple of different panes open, you can do leader Q, which will show you the pane numbers. And notice how it starts at one here instead of zero. We're going to go over a setting for that one. But honestly, I usually don't jump between panes using specific hotkeys uh, where I'm using like a number. Typically, I'm just using alt and the arrow keys just to like hold down alt and hit the right arrow to go this way. Or if I split it down uh, below instead, I can always just do like alt you know, up, down, left, right, like, you know, basically just treating it like a grid there. You know, again, that's only if you're using my dot file binds, but those are pretty popular binds to set up. But yeah, we'll go over that setting. And lastly, we're going to go over another setting too here. So let me just actually open up a couple of uh, new windows here, but we can see that they're all ordered in order, right? Between one, two, three, four, five, right? Now let's say that I want to delete window four. Now, without setting this setting here, if I were to delete window four like this or doing control D, then this would actually stay labeled as five. So we would end up with like one, two, three, five. But with a setting that I have defined in my TMUX config, it's actually going to make five turn into a four. Basically, anytime that we delete a window, the numbers are going to be automatically re-indexed from one. So they're always going to be in order like one, two, three, four, five. There's never going to be any gaps in the middle. I just find that uh, kind of nice. You know, I guess it depends on personal preference, right? If you have a whole bunch of them open, maybe you just know in your brain, like no matter what, like window eight is this one thing. But for me, yeah, I always like to have these uh, numbered consistently just going from one, two, three, four, five. It just seems to work out nice for me. Now, let's take a look here at the TMUX config file, and I will leave a link to this one in the description, by the way. So this is all up on my dot files in the tmux config here. And if we take a look here, and these are things I've had for a really long time. It's just, you know, some folks have been commenting, asking me to make more videos about my tmux and vim config. And I kind of can't make an entire video just about like my entire uh, tmux config or vim config, because it would be like a really long video. So I'm gonna tackle this just by going over individual features like this. So it really comes down to these settings over here. So this one is going to ensure that the numbers are always in order, right? So if you happen to delete window four, you know, the other ones are gonna uh, shift to be in the correct order, like basically renumber when windows on and off. And these two are basically for uh, indexing at one instead of zero. So the base index one, this is going to be for windows. And then the pane base index, that is going to be for panes. So yeah, that's basically how this works. I'm actually not even sure if I change that to a two, will this start indexing at two? It's very possible. Uh, let's actually see how that works. So I'm actually going to kill my tmux server. tmux what? What is it? Uh, tmux, aha, kill server. Yeah, this is not something I run very, very often here, like manually, but now tmux is totally dead. I'm actually going to restart tmux here and look at that. It actually started at two. And again, if this uh, were not set at all, then it would start at zero. But uh, yeah, I don't want to have it start at two. So I'm actually going to go back and just uh, change my config back to what it was before. But yeah, that's a very quick video on this one. Just a couple of options to make quality of life improvements. Uh, with that said, uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about how these works, uh, how they work. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps a lot in the end. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.